Now, let's make this quite clear. I'm not a professional or an expert on batteries, in particular LiPo batteries. I don't know much about these things. All I can speak from and share with you is my experience working with these batteries. Now, I've seen in Facebook groups, a lot of people have been complaining about the Mavic 2 batteries puffing up and swelling up. A lot of people were saying that these two types here are puffing up because they don't have any vents and that could possibly be a factor as well. There's no space or ventilation ports for them. Like this, the Phantom battery has these ventilation ports that help it to breathe. Unlike these right here that come from the Mavic 2 Pro and the ones that also come with the DJI Mavic Air 2, none of these batteries have any type of ventilation. I've had one puffy battery in all my years of flying drones. It came from the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. When I got my Phantom 4 Pro for the first time, I only had one battery. And I used to take it out, fly that battery, leave it in the drone, or stick it in the styrofoam case that it came in. And I would do that constantly, come home, charge it up, and go out back again. It just so happened that that happened to be the battery that puffed up on me. Now I have about four or five of these batteries and I haven't had any issues with them puffing up. And here's what I did differently that I think makes the difference and that I'm gonna share with you that you can implement to avoid these batteries puffing up. Number one, batteries heat up. The drones heat up. The fans on the drones work because it's hot out there. It's hot up there in the sky. Every time I land, I never take my battery out and put it inside the case or put it inside of the bag because that traps the heat. I always make sure that every time I'm finished flying, I have about 10 or 15 minutes of free time left to just hang around and let my batteries air out. I don't put them in a bag, I don't put them in a case, I sit them upright just like this, or just like this, sit them on a table where they're safe, and I'll put an umbrella for shade over it, or I'll put a tent if I'm going to be there for a long while to keep these batteries shaded as opposed to exposed to the hot sun. I don't rest them like this because most of the heat is at the bottom. I stand them up and allow the air to breathe and ventilate around these batteries before I put them away in my bag. I fly it very low, which is not advisable. I fly to like 9%, 10%, 15%, somewhere around there all the time. But every time I'm done flying, I make sure that I air them out. The other thing I do is as soon as I get home from traveling or wherever I've been flying, I'll t first thing I'll do is take these batteries out of the bag and rest them on a table. Not like this. I rest them like this on a table and allow them to air out as well. Because when, when you allow them to cool off in the field, that's good. But when you put them into the bag, they're still not getting to breathe. It gets hot again. By the time you reach home, you need to take them out and rest them down for at least another 15 or 20 minutes. And then you can proceed to put them to charge again. Another thing I do is I try to keep these batteries in temperatures that I would be comfortable in. If I'm at home, I wanna make sure my home is not too hot, it's not too cold. I wanna make sure that it's comfortable there. In addition to these things, I do what's normally recommended to be done with these batteries. I charge them up either the day before or the day of when I plan to fly. If something happens and I'm not able to fly, then I have them to self-discharge in four days automatically. Then if I know that I'm going to be busy for the next few weeks and I won't have time to fly, which is very rare, but does happen from time to time because I'm flying a lot of different drones these days. Some I might fly more than others and some I might not fly for weeks at a time. So the ones that I'm not going to fly for weeks, I charge them to 60% or I fly them down to 60% 
I put them stored away in a nice cool area standing up like this and I set a reminder on my phone to remind me to charge them in six to seven weeks. So that way two months does not go by without these batteries getting a charge. And that's what I've been doing for the last few years and ever since then I have never, well this one's pretty new, but ever since then I've never had any batteries puff up on me. If I'm traveling in my car, I go in my car, I turn on the AC, I leave the batteries like this laying on the seat so it can breathe this way and I drive slowly with them on the seat getting cool from the AC unit instead of putting it back in the case or instead of putting it back in the bag. Trapping these batteries is not a good idea, especially immediately after flight. So anyway, that's about it guys. That's the tips I have to share with you. I suggest you do it for all your drones because I'm sure most of your drones work with LiPo batteries and they're all pretty much the same. Even the Mavic Mini has the same recommendations even though it's not a LiPo battery. So be mindful of these batteries guys because this one is a about 200 bucks this one is over 200 bucks and this hobby can get really expensive really fast if you don't take a few extra minutes after every flight to make sure that you let these things breathe breathe after flight breathe before you travel breathe when you get home breathe before you charge breathe after charge with that being said, make sure you smash that like button until it turns blue. Hit subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I release new videos. Share this video with anyone who you know flies drones and I will catch you guys whenever I can. Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.